NSFW, what's the best thing that happened to you in truth or dare? My buddy dared me to lick chocolate syrup off his girlfriend's nipples. I got to see my friend's sister's boobs and watch him lick an electric fence all in the same day. I wasn't even playing and someone dared a girl I like to kiss me, that someone became a very good friend. We dared this girl to give a friend of mine a lap dance using the first song that came up when he shuffled his entire song library. Seems pretty normal until she had to give a 3 minute lap dance to cats in the cradle. Was dared to catch a frisbee in my teeth from across the yard. So, walked outside and across the yard. Girl wound up, threw the frisbee. Figured a, this ought to be funny when it bounces off my face. And as a total ducking fluke. Actually caught it in my teeth. In 8th grade I was dared to show this girl my D. We went to a bathroom. I was 13 and horny so I had a hard on. I pointed it down and she didn't know the difference. She told her friends later and I kinda got a reputation of having a big D even though I'm completely average. Edit. Thanks for the gold and silver. This really blew up. Shari was dared to spend 10 minutes in a dark room. Nearby den. With the guy of her choice. She chose me. Turned out to be a setup. Her best friend knew that Shari had a crush on me and made this happen. Anyway. It was the hottest. Fastest makeout session to date for me. We were both naked above the waist and she had her hand in my zipper. At 10 minutes there was an unwelcome knock on the door. I found out who took my calculator. I got to grab a girl's boob. Under the shirt. I was 16 and it was awesome. After reading all of this I've decided duck tinder meet me I'm going to make a truth or dare app. Not much. But a friend of mine earned the nickname Big D Chris or BDC for short after a game. Crush sat on my lap the rest of the game. My lil soldier had a hard time staying focused. Good times though. I got to motorboat a girl's tits. It was in a hotel during a school sport trip. My best friend knew I liked her and did me a solid. Was sitting outside at a college campus and was dared to yell I love you to the next person I saw. I did and this dude yells it back and keeps walking. We go back and forth getting louder and louder as he walks off. Best reaction ever. Found out a girl had a crush on me. Unfortunately it was the girl I hate. I won $20 by doing a dare in which I ran outside in my underwear when it was sleeting outside. I dared a girl I was hot for to give me a big fat kiss. Our 14th wedding anniversary was last week. D. Made out with this chick I had a crush on. Turns out she had a boyfriend. He beat the it out of me. Edit. Uncensored. A guy told me I was beautiful and that he was too shy to always tell me that cuz he thought I was way out of his league. So not best. But a truth or dare story nonetheless. 5th grade. Crush gets dared to kiss me. Crush looks at me and goes you were gross. He's fat. And that was that. If this is going to be copy and pasted in a BuzzFeed article please include this. Duck you. Larry. I was about 12 at a friend's sleepover. I was dared to go home. By a kid who didn't like me too much. I walked the 2 miles home and as I came to my driveway my older brother had just pulled in. He had 3 baby raccoons with him because he had hit their mother while delivering pizza. I got to spend the rest of the night with him. 3 raccoons and a cheese and pepperoni pizza watching Nightmare on Elm Street. I got to watch my friend lick the floor for 10 seconds. I'm reading all these comments and damn I got dared to go home. Made out with. And low key felt up. My older next door neighbor. Had had a crush on her for a while before then. So it's a very fond memory. Got to see a hot girl's tit imprint in the snow. Not too impressive I know. But teenage me had that picture engraved in my head for a while lol. Girl got dared to spin the bottle and give a blowjob to whoever it lands on right in front of everybody. The bottle didn't point at me. But I had a nice view right next to the girl it did land on. Apparently. She had experience dining at the Y. In the 7th or 8th grade, I was going back and forth with my friend with a bunch of risque dares. Flash your boobs. Show her my D. Make out with each other. Dry hump. ETC. 
I eventually just went for it and dared her to blow me and she did it. I remember being so hard that I barely even felt anything. Initially. I was at work, high school job at a department store. And the four of us in my department were playing truth or dare. Mostly dumb work stuff like a sigo mix up those shirts. Someone dared the girl who had a rep as being experienced. Who was a couple years older than me. To give me a blow job. She told me to take break with her. I played along. We went to her car. She actually blew me in the store parking lot. I was allowed to join the game. Saw boobs. 10 stroke 10. Would see again. The best thing was getting my lap sat on by my crush and a kiss on the cheek from her. Someone dared me to kiss a lady that I happened to have a thing for anyway. It was a very long time before we stopped kissing. Dated her for 3 years. Great lady. Always a little sad it didn't work out. Group us were in these tunnels that we liked to hang out in and our friend was dared to give me a blow job. Which she actually did. Best 10 seconds I ever had down there. Ended up dating on and off for the next 2 years or so. I went to an acquaintance's birthday. We spoke maybe 10 times prior. After a while she was down to just her bra and panties. That's when she was dared to seduce me. Well she was kind of awkward so her version of seduction was just to tackle me while we were both near naked. That was a great night and we're celebrating our first year of marriage next weekend. I was a late bloomer in HS. By the time I realized I may be attractive to anyone it was over. Our senior year party for an art magnet school. We played this. A girl I had a fairly solid crush on. Popular. Cheerleader. A good friend. Was asked who she had fantasized about. And I was the answer. 1. Blew my mind. 2. Gave me the guts to ask her out. 3. It was a horribly awkward silly lunch date. 4. Built my confidence a lot heading into college. A silly story, but it was a good one. I once dared a friend to order me a pizza so that was pretty good. I made my friend's boyfriend make out with a 4 foot tall nutcracker. That's the best I got. In 8th grade I got my friend to dare me and my crush to kiss. We did. My friend was the best wingman lol. I never got to play truth or dare but I did play duck duck goose. It was not fun sitting there the whole time. Kissed a girl that would later become my first ever girlfriend, but is now my ex. It was a good two years though. Truth. What's the most interesting place you've had six? I've never had six not in a bed. Oh do I have a 2001 grand ambaxied for you. I had a 2001 grand ambaxied for her. I'm way late but the first day I met my wife we played a game of truth or dare. She asked me truth. What kind of clothes on a girl do you like? Then the next day she showed up to my house in those clothes. Cute girl pulled her pants down and full on sat on my face for a solid minute. Broke the ice with my current fiance playing it. One of the coolest nights of my life. So my hair is pretty long. My friends used me as a mop to clean the wet floor. It was a fun idea. Wasn't fun. But remembering it is a ha a girl, I didn't have a crush on her, but she was nice, flashed me, she also let me fondle her boobies, I know it's lame considering some of the responses here, but that's what I got. Sex house, I am now a respectable employee at a respectable IT firm that would be thoroughly appalled at my past, but when I was at university, there was a house a couple of streets down that was essentially orgy central, and it all started with a game of truth or dare. I chose truth every time because I was super boring and had nothing to hide. I got made fun of that weekend. But Monday morning the nasty wannabe popular rich went around spreading everyone's secrets. And the ridiculous dares they did. Everyone except me. Boring for the win. Hijacking to share my worst. When I was in high school. We played truth or dare Jenga. I was the first to get a dare piece and I did the dare. I had to blow in some guy's ear. Fine. A little embarrassing. But that's what you do. The next time a dare came up. The person refused to do it. Everyone was like okay. The next few people also refused to do their dares. I was like WTF. One girl said um. Nobody actually does the dares. With a withering tone that might as well have said you idiot. 
Duck those guys. I kissed a girl, and I liked it, so I did it again. I found out a girl I had a crush on had a crush on me. Till truth or dear is a sexual game. MFW nothing interested ever happened to me. My two straight male friends got in their underwear and scissored each other while singing fancy living. Here we come. From Spongebob. I got to watch my middle school friend, it was winter, go down to the yard strip to boxes and run a lap around the yard. Needless to say we were all impressed and hysterically laughing. He did this in the middle of class BTW. My then girlfriend dared our friend to do some sick stuff with me. I ended up leaving then gf for that girl. Me and that girl have now been together for 8 years. Married for 3. Have a beautiful daughter and hopefully another on the way soon. Best truth or dare game ever. I played truth or dare in a pub in my hometown. It was pretty normal for me and my friends and their friends to play that there because none of us were afraid to do anything except getting naked or something like that. I got a dare to kiss a girl to my right. Decided not to do so even though she was up for that. Later that evening I saw her with her boyfriend. I am relieved that I decided to dodge a bullet there. I was dared to read or a fanfic out loud. Got to make out with a girl I was crushing on. Got to finally kiss a girl I really, really liked. I got a blowjob from a girl up the street once. All the other times ended up with me jumping off a hotel into the pool or some stupid like that. I saw, and later sucked on, my first pair of breasts as a teenager. We were all 17, and horny as hell. She had D cups. To say that her tits were awesome would be an understatement. Yes, it was worth it. Edited for clarity and better wording. This wasn't during a game, but I dared a friend to submit an application to a job she was scared of applying for because she felt she was underqualified. She ended up getting it and was really happy I gave her the push to get her to do it. Even though the thing didn't happen to me it was still a nice feeling having something good happen to someone because you dared them. I was 16 and my group of friends were sitting in a sauna. Everyone was covered up by a towel. When one of the girls said we should play truth or dare, I got dared to show my D to one of the girls so we went out to the changing room showers that is attached to the sauna and I showed her my D and she gave me my first hand job and later that night we had six. Ended up togger though for about six years before I found out she had been cheating on me like a lot. I thought these stories just happened in movies. I kissed the most beautiful Cuban woman that I have ever seen. Nothing good has ever happened. Playing this game. One time it ended with me licking a toilet seat I hated it. I was playing truth or dare with my sister's friends and I dared one of them to do something and after one of them says. You could have dared someone to kiss you and you would have gotten your first kiss. That immediately set a light off in my head and later in the night I asked if I could kiss her and I did. So I got to kiss a really pretty girl. Not me but I was at the circle doing it. One of the really hot girls there was dared to, without her hands, take the Invisalign out of the guy's mouth sitting next to, and have it in the entire night. Everyone went quiet and looked at her, without hesitation grabs the guy, and with her tongue takes it out of his mouth and into hers. She was supposed to keep it in the rest of the night but it didn't fit her properly and she only had it for about 30 minutes. Most ballsy thing I've ever seen someone do. Got to play my very first, and only, truth or dare game when I moved to the US for college. With a bunch of people who I would characterize as moderately to severely religious. I was not, but those were the first people I had met. So I went with it. Needless to say, it was tame and clean. Worst thing someone got dared to do was walk up to a stranger and sing the national anthem. Reading all the responses here. I never imagined the game could be so interesting and sexually charged. I definitely missed out.